Beneath the ocean's surface, China has introduced a new generation of unmanned underwater vehicles that can silently glide, turn on the spot, and operate so quietly they could slip past sonar entirely. These submersibles are redefining what stealth and precision mean under the sea. In this video, we'll uncover how they work, what makes them so advanced, and what this breakthrough might mean for the future of ocean technology. China's new unmanned submersibles are being described as among the most advanced underwater vehicles ever developed, with abilities that push the boundaries of underwater engineering. The most striking claim is their zero, radius turning capability, meaning they can rotate in place without needing space to maneuver. That's a huge leap for underwater navigation, allowing these systems to operate effectively in tight, complex marine environments where traditional submarines struggle. The second major feature is their acoustic stealth. These submersibles are reportedly designed to operate below 90 decibels, a sound threshold that makes them extremely hard to detect using conventional sonar. This is achieved through pump jet propulsion and specially designed hull materials that reduce drag and minimize cavitation bubbles, the tiny disturbances that normally betray a vehicle's presence underwater. During China's recent national showcase, one of the key highlights was the AJX-002 unmanned mine-laying submersible, a roughly 20-meter-long autonomous vehicle. It's believed to have a range exceeding 1,000 nautical miles and can carry modular payloads for surveillance or strategic underwater tasks. Its smooth hull, compact design, and efficient propulsion allow it to travel great distances without producing the signature noises associated with larger vessels. Beyond public displays, Satellite analysis has reportedly identified even larger prototypes being tested in the South China Sea, potentially over 40 meters in length. These models, sometimes called XXL drones, seem to represent the next stage of underwater autonomy. They are reportedly being launched from floating docks, hinting at the development of underwater infrastructure that supports extended range, long duration missions. Still, it's important to remember that such breakthroughs come with practical limits. Achieving consistent stealth below 90 decibels in turbulent ocean waters is an immense technical challenge. Water currents, pressure, temperature shifts, and even marine life can create unpredictable noise that complicates detection and control. If these unmanned submersibles work as intended, they could completely transform the way nations use technology to secure and monitor the seas. One of the most discussed potential uses is underwater area control, where these vehicles could autonomously patrol or protect maritime zones while gathering oceanographic and navigational data. Their ability to move silently and stay submerged for extended periods means they could maintain a constant presence without drawing attention. Another major potential lies in autonomous swarm operations. Instead of relying on a few large submarines, fleets of smaller, intelligent submersibles could work together to map the seabed, identify objects, or monitor specific regions. When hundreds of autonomous drones coordinate in real time using AI, they can cover vast areas faster and more efficiently than manned vessels. This distributed approach also reduces the risk associated with depending on a single large platform. A third mission involves long range surveillance and communication relays. If these submersibles are linked with surface vessels, satellites, or aerial drones, they could form an underwater information network detecting movement, measuring environmental changes, and transmitting data securely to command systems above. This multi-domain integration marks a shift toward a future where the ocean becomes a fully networked ecosystem of machines sharing live intelligence. These technologies also promise significant benefits beyond defense. Their quiet operation could make them valuable for scientific research, deep sea mapping, and disaster prevention. They could collect data on undersea currents, tectonic activity, or pollution levels without disturbing delicate ecosystems. As underwater exploration expands, autonomous submersibles like these might become essential tools for marine sustainability and global environmental monitoring. However, these innovations demand enormous logistical and infrastructural support. Autonomous systems require underwater charging stations, maintenance bases, and stable data links. Building and sustaining such a network is complex and expensive. While these advancements are impressive, they come with serious challenges and uncertainties that must be acknowledged. First, there's the issue of overpromising. 
History shows that technology displayed in national parades or demonstrations is often symbolic showcasing prototypes or early-stage systems rather than fully deployed operational tools. It's entirely possible that some of the submersibles shown publicly are still in the experimental phase. Another key challenge is autonomy reliability. Operating underwater is vastly different from operating in the air or on land. Radio waves don't travel well through water, which makes real-time communication difficult. Instead, submersibles rely on acoustic signals or pre-programmed instructions, both of which can be disrupted by water temperature, salinity, or obstacles. Ensuring that these systems can make sound decisions independently without constant human oversight remains one of the biggest hurdles in underwater robotics. The next concern revolves around safety and environmental impact. As more autonomous systems populate the oceans, the risk of misidentification or unintended collisions increases. Without clear communication or coordination protocols, multiple countries operating autonomous underwater vehicles in shared waters could face misunderstandings or accidents. For this reason, many experts argue that international frameworks will be needed to regulate the use of unmanned marine technology. To gauge how real these systems are, analysts suggest watching several indicators. The most telling signs include the construction of floating docks or underwater charging platforms, large-scale testing activity in open seas, and the gradual introduction of new ocean monitoring networks. In some recent cases, fishermen have even reported finding smaller underwater drones equipped with salinity and depth sensors, suggesting that at least some of these systems are already active for data collection. Beyond the technical side, there's also the question of adaptation. As one country advances, others will inevitably accelerate their own programs to maintain parity. From zero radius turning to near silent propulsion, China's latest unmanned submersibles mark a powerful step in underwater innovation. Whether every feature performs as claimed or not, these systems show a clear shift toward autonomous, data driven ocean technology. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like share, and subscribe for more, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.